let's take a look at inserting images into your Microsoft Word document. You're going to find that there's a couple different ways to do this. We're going to take a look at both of them, but the first option that you have is to be able to insert an image that you currently have on your computer. So whether this is an image that you've downloaded from some website, it's an image that you perhaps took with your camera and then you loaded it on your computer, or perhaps you received something in your email, an attached image that you've then downloaded to your computer and want to insert into your Word document. This is really simple and really quick. First step, I first need to determine where the image should be placed inside the document. And I do this simply by clicking wherever I want to place that image. So as an example, I want to place it right here, right before this uh, second paragraph, first sentence, click insert. I want to put an image right there. So once I've clicked there, I place my cursor. I'll then go up to my insert tab, top of my screen, insert. And on the insert tab, I've got a section called illustrations. And it's got a variety of different elements that I can insert into my Microsoft Word document. The first one we're going to look at here is insert pictures or from file. So if I give that a click, this will open up my browse window. I can then browse my computer and I can look for images that I want to drop into my Word document. So I take a moment, I'll look through here. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That's me and my daughter, one of my daughters here. I'll select that. I'm going to go ahead and insert. Drops it into my document. Now it's a huge image. We'll talk a little bit about resizing that and formatting it in later videos. Um, but it has been placed right in front of that first line of that second paragraph. Click insert, then choose. And there's there's my little picture of my, one of my daughters right there. Very cute. Uh, but really simply again, first step, just click where you want to place the image. You'll go up to your insert tab insert picture, opens up your browse window, go find your image, drop it into your document. So we're going to talk about a few other things here with images, other techniques and different things you can do with those images. But first, try that out. Insert, picture, browse for an image on your computer. If you don't have one, go out online, snap a picture with your camera, drop it on your computer and insert it into your Word document. Now, another technique that you have when inserting pictures into a Microsoft Word document uh, gives you the ability to grab images from an online source. Now, keep in mind, this is a Microsoft Office application. Microsoft built it. Well, Microsoft has a search engine that they've built and that they maintain called Bing. Take a look. This is how we can insert images from online. So first step, I'm going to get rid of this image that I dropped in earlier. I'm just going to select it on my keyboard. I'll hit the delete key. Get rid of that image. That's simple. Select, delete, gone. Now, just like inserting images from your computer, first step, you got to select where you want to place the image. I'll do the same thing right before the second paragraph, first sentence. Now next, back up to insert. Now this time, I'm going to go to online pictures. So I'll give that a click gives it just a moment to load up here. Now keep in mind, once again, this is a Microsoft tool. Uh, if you're on a Mac, I don't believe that the latest release has the ability to grab online images just yet. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your head if you're on a Mac. But if not, if you're on a Windows machine, insert online pictures, and it uses Bing primarily as its search engine. Now I come up here, I can type in a search term, I can go through the images that they did find in there, whatever I need to do. Let's say I like this, this moose here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to select it. Gives me a whole bunch of animals to be able to pick from. Uh, let's see, there's that moose again. I want that moose. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, and I've got an insert button that shows up in the lower right corner of the window. So I go ahead and insert, and I'll give it just a moment there, and there's that moose. That's simple. Just insert, online picture, and off you go. But now you're browsing online. Now, let me try that just one more time. Go ahead and close that. I'm going to get rid of this information here as well. We'll delete that. Back up to insert online pictures. Again, I can also do, I can use the examples and categories that they've given me there, but I can just search up above. And let's say uh, dog. Hit my enter key. And look at all those little dogs. Let's grab that one there. I'll select it. I'm going to go ahead and insert. And that little dog's in my document. So try this out, very similar, but now we're searching online through Bing and have the ability to search thousands of images to be able to place them into your Microsoft Word documents. If you were familiar with clip art way back when inside of Microsoft Word and the other Office applications, this kind of replaced that clip art. And now you're searching using Microsoft Bing.
Now that you've got an image into your Microsoft Word document, you're gonna to wanna to manipulate it. As an example, when I drop this dog into the document, it's a big image. It's taken up a lot of space. It's got the width of the page there. Perhaps I just want a little thumbnail of the image. So I'm gonna shrink this down. I wanna resize it. Now this is another really simple technique, a really quick one, and you've probably done it inside of other Office applications or perhaps other applications out there on the market. So with the image selected, and all I do is just click on it to select it, I'm gonna get a few little icons that show up around this image. You can see inside of each corner, I've got a little circle. On the sides, north, south, west, and east sides of this image, I've got the little circle as well. These are your resize handles. The little hooked arrow at the top will allow you to rotate the image. So let's take a look at resizing. I'm just gonna to move to one of the corners, doesn't matter which corner. I'll just left click on that corner and drag. And this will allow me to resize that image. Now you'll notice that I can drag in, in all directions, but the image, depending on how far I go in a particular direction, is starting to get skewed. So I'm starting to make that little puppy kind of tall and skinny there, or let's see, I'll squish him down, make him a little squatty there, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm changing the uh, aspect ratio or the size of this image and, and it's not maintaining the width and height ratio of this image. So I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna control Z that just to undo that operation. Now let me try that again, but this time as I drag that corner icon, I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard and this will constrain the proportions. So it doesn't matter which direction I move in, the width and the height of that image, the ratio will stay the same. That way I don't get a skewed image and I can bring that thing way down. There we go. Okay. So all I'm doing is just grabbing one of the icons. You can click and drag, you can scale it however you like. If you wanna keep the aspect ratio the same for width and height, make sure you hold down the shift key. So try this out. Insert an image if you don't have it already and then resize it. Just grab one of those little boxes, little, little actually circles in the corners of the sides and start to resize that image. So we've been able to resize the image, just grabbing one of those side icons and, and shift and dragging it to keep the aspect ratio the same. How about cropping an image? Occasionally, you're gonna bring an image into your Microsoft Word document and it's a great image, but perhaps there's pieces of the image that I don't need. Now, for example, in this puppy, I just want more of the face, just, just the head. I don't care about the body. I don't care about the surrounding area. I wanna kinda zoom in on just the puppy's face. That's it, no other information is needed. So I'm gonna crop the image. Once I've selected the image, that's really step one, up above you get a new tab, Picture Tools Format tab. And there's all sorts of goodies, well worth your time to poke around in here and see what's available to manipulating this image. We're gonna take a look at a couple of them here, but the first one is your crop option. Over here on the right I can find crop. So I go to Picture Tools, Format, I go over to Crop. Now, if I go in there right now, Crop's not active for me. I, I, I can't do anything with it. And it looks like several of the other operations in here are actually grayed out on me as well. Crop and Aspect Ratio, Fill and Fit, and just Crop up here alone. I can't work with it. What's happening here? Well, this image, and, and this is I'm glad this is happening right here because this is gonna help you out as well. This image, it came from an online source. And in the later releases of Microsoft Word, when you pull an image from an online source, they give you a little bit of information about that image and where it came from. Let me resize this image once again. You see down here that I've got something that says, this photo by Omno author is licensed under CCBYSA. Okay. Well, that's some text and that got grouped with the image. Well, I don't need that. I don't want that stuff inside there. So I'm actually gonna select it and delete it. Let's make sure I get that box selected, not just the text. Let's delete that out of there. Now, I select the image, back up to format, and you can see that my crop tool is now active in all the features underneath it. So if you ever find that you've got this online image or anything grouped together with an image, it's gonna block you from cropping the image. So FYI, heads up, watch for that, all right? So now I wanna crop it. I wanna get in, 
on just like this area right here. And bring a little more dynamic capture of that little puppy. So with the image selected, picture tools, format, over to crop. I'm just gonna hit the top button here. And now I get these icons that surround the image once again. These are all right angles, square angles, and, and the lines there on each side. But those are your crop tools. So I grab one of them, I just pull it in, and let's see, I wanna crop him, maybe a little bit of his ear off, I don't wanna take his chin. Let's pull that off a little bit. Just zoom in a little bit more on that puppy. There we go, nice little puppy. All right, now it, it still shows me the data outside, kind of ghost mode, but when I click away, those elements will go away. And now I'm kind of zoomed in on that little puppy, just his face, don't need the extra information. You're gonna find that you do this. Maybe you've done a screen capture on your computer and you wanna drop that into Word. Well, perhaps when you did that screen capture, I don't need all the extra stuff. I just need the little error box or that paragraph that I'm trying to focus in on, not the other stuff. Crop it out, get rid of it. You don't need it. So try this out. You've got an image in there. You've been able to resize it. You can crop it if necessary. Now I wanna apply some more style to this image. Perhaps I wanna put a border around it or give it a drop shadow. Do something with it, tilt it, make it look 3D and apply some style, get it, to, get it to really jump off of that page. Take a look. So I select that image. Anything, anytime you ever do anything with an object or an image inside of a Word document, that's really your first step, select it. So now that I've got the image selected, I can go back up to that new tab, that new format, picture tools format tab. And in here, you're gonna have picture styles. Now you got really two ways to be able to apply styles to an image. You've got some predetermined styles, things that Microsoft has put together for us and just through a button press, you've got that style. Or you can go over towards the right and really start to define the style yourself. Picture border, colors, thickness, style of the border and so on. Picture effects where you can do things like 3D and drop shadows and so on, and a few other options up there for you. But either pick from their predefined or apply it yourself. Take a look. So once again, image selected, format. Now I'm gonna go into the predefined styles here. I'm gonna hit this little down arrow. Got a few in there. And watch, as I hover my mouse over it, you'll see it apply that style to the image. Look at that. Cute little puppy. Let's see, I'm gonna, I, I like that one. And relax perspective white. So it puts a border around it, got a drop shadow on it, kind of lays it down, give it a little more perspective, kind of dynamic qualities out of that image. I select it and look at that little image. That yeah, pretty slick. Now, I wanna point this out. We're in Microsoft Word, but if you're in PowerPoint, you work in PowerPoint, you do the same thing there. And you can create these really stylistic images, not just flat images, boxes, squares, but some really dynamic content out of it. And it really makes it pop. People are gonna draw their attention to that image. So try this out, try out a few. Select the image that you have in your document, picture tools format, and go try out a few of these different styles. Now, if you don't like the styles that they've given you, and they've got a few of them in there for you to pick from, again, again I'm gonna go back to that one, um, but you can go up above and you can pick your own borders. Look at that, I can change that white border to something else. Maybe I like the yellow one or blue one. I like blue. Uh, I can go back in there. I can change the weight or the thickness of that border. And I can get into picture effects and they've got all sorts of stuff. Shadows, 3D rotation effects. Well worth your time. Poke around and see what you can do in here. Maybe you even found something that you sort of like, but it's tilted the wrong way or the shadow is not dark enough, whatever. You can get in and start to manipulate it yourself. So try it out. All right, so we've got an image inside your document. Let's take a few steps back for just a moment, back to where we talked about inserting images. So you recall, we just went up to insert pictures or online pictures. But the first step, even before that, you had to determine where the image was gonna be placed inside the document. So I would come down, click inside of a sentence or before a sentence or wherever, then I'd go insert picture and it would drop it right there. Now when this happens, we call this inline placement. And what that essentially means is this image is in line with this line of text here. If I click on the little dog, select it, and I click and drag, I can move that to a different area of the document, but it's still 
in line with wherever you dropped it. In this case, it's in line with this sentence right here, which is nice. You can move it around and place it wherever you want, but it causes a bunch of empty white space because it kind of pushes those lines up above, pushes them up, and pushes these one down, and now the base of this image rests on the baseline of this line right here, of this sentence. Well, I want to fix that. What I want to have happen is when I drop the image in, let's put that back up here, just click and drag that, I want the text to wrap around the image. I want this area here to be filled with text and wrap down below, if necessary, around that image. Now, this is a really simple technique and one that we should be taking advantage of. In the newer releases, ever since I think it was the 2010 release of Microsoft Word, you select an image and right away you get this little icon that gives you the options for wrap texts. Now, if you're on an earlier edition or if you don't see that icon, you can still select the image, go up to format, and here you will have wrap text as well. It's got the exact same features, just found in two different spots. Either way you do it. So I'm gonna go format, wrap text, click on the little down arrow, and I've got all these options on how I can wrap the text around that image. Well, not even around in this case, this is behind text. So now that image is behind, right? Kind of stacked on top of one another there. That's great if you're doing things like watermarks. I can put the image up in front of the text. May not do that a lot, but it's a neat technique. You might be doing some type of magazine spread and well, you know what? The text isn't really the important element here. It's more the image that we want the users to look at. Here, I'm gonna run over top. Let's see, I'm gonna do the square one. So I'll select square. And now it's just nice and square around that image. Again, loads of options. You get into the little menu here as well, and you can just select the ones that you want, uh, see how it's applied to that image. There's This is the tight one. See a little bit of difference in there. It's, it's kind of following the shape of that, not so much square, but it's tighter in on that image. So try these out. Again, all I'm doing is selecting the image, Go to a little icon here, pick your different formatting or wrap text options, or you can go up to your format tab, wrap text, and you can do it from here as well. Either way, try it out. Get that text to follow around that image. Don't leave all that empty negative white space that's kind of distracting within your document. Select the image, wrap text. Try it out.